hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create swim lanes let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now, Microsoft Planner doesn't have a built-in swim lane feature like some more advanced project management tools like Jira or Trello. However, you can still organize tasks in a way that resembles swim lanes using buckets. Now, buckets allows you to categorize and organize tasks into separate sections on your planner board which can mimic the effect of swim lanes. Now, first off is I want you to go to the left side panel of your dashboard and click on the My Plans that would lead you to the planner home from here choose the plan that you wanted to create buckets for swim lanes for example this i'm going to make sure that you are on the board because on the grid you're not going to be able to create kind of a bucket for swim lanes or schedule or even charts so you go to the board and from here you can add buckets all right for example this is going to be like bucket for design all right that's one this is our bucket for development right here and maybe this one is going to be a um, bucket for testing and the last bucket is going to be bucket for completed right so these are going to be that one now when you create or move task for example we're going to add a task here right and then go now to the grid because we can put a label here specifically creating a um for example orange edit that and say for example swim link press enter you see that go again to the board each task now here can be placed in the appropriate bucket like swim lanes right here based on the category or stage it belongs to now again if you want to additional categorization when you're swim lanes you always go to the grid board of course you can put labels to further differentiate task in each bucket all right so basically this is how you create a swim lane effect here in microsoft planner that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.